What goes up must come down. Golf Air 0077 right, heading 185, reduce speed 182 knots. Hello guys, hope you're all well and welcome to the conclusion to the SID video. This is the star video. Now, I'm sorry for being all over enthusiastic. I'm struggling to make this entertaining as well as exciting. So maybe my voice will do that for you. Uh, really simple, I just opened up charts before I even told you what this was. Three snippets of end of routes, please don't use these for navigational purposes, as you may end up PMing me, telling me how much you hate me because you end up with huge directs at the start of your route. Tromso, don't know how do you pronounce that, to Garden Moan, Oslo, and then Heathrow to Singapore, and Alicante to somewhere in Denmark that no one really cares about. So. We'll pick up the Trumpso to uh, Trumpso, <laughs> Trumpso to Oslo first, and our last waypoint is Belgu, Belgu. Lol. Anyway, charts cloud as you will. Hit the search because I didn't know this existed in the last video, and we want to type in E N G M. There we go, Oslo Garden Moan, and we want to filter it via star, and we'll pretend we're landing on zero one right. So there we go. It's the Belgu to Lima arrival. Really simple. I don't want to teach you how to suck egg, so you can read the chart for yourself. It goes all the way down as far as waypoint Valpu. Valpu is important for those of you that don't understand what transitions to use. It's really quite self-explanatory. The last fix on the uh, on the start is Valpu. That corresponds directly with the IRS transition. So if you look on the IRS chart, you'll see that it starts here from Valpu, uh, and then it goes to Vabso, and then whee, onto the IRS, okay? So that's how you find the transition for that particular airport. Most of them are like that. You just need to look near the IRS, and whichever fix is in the position that you're flying to, just use that. If you're not flying to any of them, then leave it out. You'll probably get vectors or something like that. Okay, moving on, because I don't want this to be 25 minutes long. Heathrow to Singapore, in through Gunip, then Airway to VKL, then Airway to Arama. <laughs> I really need to stop doing that laugh, it's kind of annoying me now. So anyway, WSSS, Singapore Changi International, so like that, and oh my god, there's enough pages of general, isn't there? Anyway, filter it via star. And are they going to be nice and have something in via Arama? Probably not. So, we'll pretend we're going to land on 2 0 right, because I've done that before in real world. And uh, we will look. Is it the ball bag 1 Bravo? It is, straight away. Genius. Okay, so ball bag 1 Bravo with the Arama transition. You are flying as far as Bipop. Okay. So you go down this way, then left, and then round here. And I'm guessing if we bring up the terminal chart for 2 zero right, there will be some form of transition from BIPOP. If there isn't, then it's just a case of vectoring yourself around. No, there isn't. So maybe there's an RNAV that might do it. Oh, here we go. Yeah, you can take the RNAV for runway 2 zero right, which starts at BIPOP, and then that takes you to this uh, fix here, which is NOMAC, and then left at NOMAC onto... Uh, onto runway 20 right. So there's an example of no real transition apart from the RNAV. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for Singapore. Last but not least, place in Denmark that no one likes. EKYT. Olborg. The last waypoint is AAL. We look. Uh-oh. No stars. What do we do? Panic alarms. Well, actually, it's not too bad. It just means that this airport can't afford stars. And probably SIDS. Let's see. Yeah, it can't afford SIDS either. So, uh, it means that it's going to be procedural work, or it's going to be vectors for the IRS. In this case, we'll take runway 28, sorry, 28 when we're talking about 26 right, and we can take the IRS, which is pretty simple. So, you'd route towards Alborg, which is here uh, on the IRS. It's not actually over the airport. And then from there, you can do whatever you really want. You can vector yourself around, or you could take the VOR approach for runway 26 right, which, uh, you know, is, is the same thing. It's entirely up to you. So, that is those three covered in a nutshell. 
There is probably a ton more examples I can give you, but it's really not that difficult, and this video is incredibly boring. I will do more little mini tips on what to do in scenarios uh, when you have to select certain procedures in the future, I guess. But until then, I hope you enjoyed yourself. If you did, thumbs it down. And if you didn't, thumbs it up. Maybe that will get more likes and dislikes. I don't know. It means nothing, by the way. I just thought I'd say it. Until next time, which will be more dangerous approaches. Actually, they're not dangerous. They're challenging approaches. Can't call them dangerous because I'll get pulled up about that. They're not dangerous. Nothing in Flight Simulator is dangerous. Only sitting on your ass for 10 hours a day and accumulating diabetes of some form. Until next time, take care all, and thanks for being a bellend. I enjoy you all immensely. Goodbye.